1968 to semiconductor giant Intel was founded in Mountain View, California. And you can tell that this is going to be a significant year because we are launching the first ever integrated circuit. This is also the year that the Beatles released their first album, which was called uh, The Beatles. Yeah, it's just called The Beatles. And the Rolling Stones released their first album, which was called Beggar's Banquet. That same year, Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. Man, we really did it that year. And in 1978, they introduced the 8086 microprocessor, which introduced a new architecture that allowed for more efficient use of memory. And while Intel didn't make the CPU for that computer, they certainly made the computer what it was. The Beatles released an album. The Rolling Stones released an album. Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. And a little-known company called Intel was founded in a garage in Mountain View, California. Because of this, Intel's chips have been used in pretty much every PC ever since. And they've also branched out into other products like motherboards and SSDs. This made it possible for personal computers to start becoming a reality. But let's talk about this semiconductor company that was founded in July of 1968. Its name was initially set to be Semiconductor Products for Aerospace and Electronics, but they soon settled on a more simplified name, Intel. And the name couldn't have been more fitting because this company would go on to be one of the most important technology companies in the world. They produced the first commercially available microprocessor in 1971, which was called the 4004. It was used in a Japanese calculator called the Biz. And while that may not sound like a significant product, it truly was the beginning of the modern computing era. In 1972, they introduced the 8008 microprocessor, which was the first microprocessor to be sold in volume. The 8086 was used in the IBM PC release in 1981. So yeah, 1968 was a pretty big year. 